Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're going to be taking a look at how to make curried corned beef. Now, this is a great spin on a traditional dish, which we all probably know, which is corned beef. However, I infused a bit of curried potatoes in there and got that all flavored up nicely. And we're going to be serving that with a bed of rice. So, let's... Um, I'm going to be making a curried corned beef. You guys know what corned beef is, right? So I'm gonna be making a curried corned beef. This is what was inside that can. So for that, we're gonna use two medium-sized onions chopped. I just half them and slice them and then went down the middle. I have two medium-sized potatoes chopped and cubed. We're gonna be boiling. Yeah, so like this. I was saying, we're gonna be boiling those potatoes that you just saw, the two medium-sized ones. So I'm just gonna transfer them to a bowl. And I already have some water that's already hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it to the surface of this and I'm gonna put this on a boil for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna drain it off. Yeah, but that's the first step. So the other ingredients you're gonna need to complement this dish is you're gonna need a uh, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of minced ginger, you're gonna need a tablespoon of green seasoning, you're gonna need a tablespoon of chicken base seasoning, and the optional pepper flakes. Of course, you're gonna need some curry because this is curried corned beef. So this is gonna be the first ingredient that you see. We're gonna need a bit of oil too to put in our pot and then we're gonna get these onions so off. I have a strainer in the sink here and what I'm gonna do my potatoes just finished boiling so I'm going to just be straining them off into now we're gonna proceed to our onions I have three tablespoons of oil that's heated in here and we're gonna to that we're gonna put all of our onions into this pot. so once you added your onions to the oil now you're just gonna give it a bit of a mix and then we're gonna let this saute for three minutes on a medium high fire. So after that three minutes, we're gonna go in with one tablespoon of curry powder to the onions. We're gonna give that a bit of a mix and we're gonna allow these flavors to intermingle for about two minutes. So to our curry, um, the onions that's been curried so far, we're gonna add some water by the way that's hot water and I just added I'd say a good quarter cup of water to this so first we're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of minced garlic and we're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of minced ginger we're gonna go in with a full tablespoon of green seasoning tablespoon of chicken base seasoning and I'm going to go in with a hint of chili flakes. This part is optional. You don't have to put chili flakes. I just like a certain amount of heat. So I put it to give Then we're going to give that. those ingredients a little bit of a mix to incorporate. And we let those flavors intermingle for about, say, um, another minute or so. Now's a good time to turn your fire down to medium. Just medium, you know. So between low and the halfway point. So that halfway there. So we turned our stove down. The next thing we're going in at this point is our potatoes. Now that's going in right after we seasoned the onions just now there. And we're gonna give that a mix. And we let these flavors mingle for five minutes before we add anything else to it. We'll taste it and then we'll adjust our flavors if needed. So yeah. You could put a hint of parsley flakes for garnish, which I'm about to do right now, just so I get a bit more color in my pot. So to the corned beef, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna use a knife to do that. You can use a spoon or whatever you have, but I just, I'm gonna break it down because this is going into the pot next. So I just like to help it out a little bit. It's kind of chunky right now. So we're gonna just kind of 
help it to break down before we throw it in the pot. So after that five minutes of the potatoes cooking down into that curry that we made, we're gonna be adding our corned beef directly into our pot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a mix to integrate as well as for it to adapt to the flavors that we have going. So I'm just gonna be totally mixing this into the curry. We're gonna turn our stove off and then we're gonna continue giving this a mix. And yeah, cause the corned beef is a cooked meat, right? So it's just gonna adapt to these curried flavors in here. So yeah. That's it. Here is your curried corned beef. You could put a bit of garnish on it. Yeah, so I here. have a portion of basmati rice that was cooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be having this curried corned beef with that. So I'm just going to be placing my corned beef on my plate. That goes with that meal. And yeah. Yeah guys, so this is what it looks Yeah guys, so this is what it looks like when it's all ready to go. I have it served with a bit of rice. And yeah, so this is your curry corn beef with rice.